So today I've got something very special for you guys. I have got this, the Renault Twizy. Oh, fully electric, top speed of around 50 miles an hour. So we're gonna get the day started by unplugging it. Um, interestingly, full charge takes only about three hours and that'll cost you around one British pound. So uh, I'm gonna get it unplugged. Just gonna see what life is like with Le Twizy. Do you like this? No, she can't hear me because she's listening to Radio 1. I got an acknowledgement. She clearly likes a man who drives a Renault Twizy. Naturally, because I've got 17 brake horsepower, 42 pound foot of torque, and a top speed of 50 miles an hour. So she knows I'm packing. She's probably quite attracted by my bad boy nature. It's designed to be a car that you would have instead of a scooter. Me, for example, I've had a scooter, I fell off too many times and then I thought, you know what, I'm too damn pretty to be driving on a scooter. So if you're a scooter driver and you keep on falling off, and you might want to consider getting a Renault Twizy, but there are downsides. You can't use it in bus lanes, you can't really overtake cars, so you have to sit in traffic, which kind of defeats the object of having something that's super city friendly. Hello guys, do you like the car? Yeah. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Would you drive it? What have you got? You've got a Polo. Yeah, you need two, yeah. Is that your first car? Yeah. Is it a 1.2? It's a 1. It's a 1? Yeah. That means we could, we could probably have a race. <laughs> I'm winning! I'm not winning! I'm definitely not winning. And the best thing as well, is if you want to be particularly baller, just, just do that. And there we go, I've got my Lamborghini. I can, do, I can do it twice as well. Whatever! See, see, look at that. And I've got extra downforce now, extra drag, stopping me so I'm not using the electric battery. This is just absolutely phenomenal. The tank started with 38 miles. Now, Renault tells me that this is gonna have around 62 miles, but that's absolute um, But in an hour, it's gone down from 38 miles to 30 miles. So I'm actually really pleasantly uh, impressed by that. Staff writer Darren said that he was getting more like 25 miles. I don't know what he's doing. He's not particularly fat or heavy. Lots of girls liking it. Might uh, investigate that further. Hello, can you turn it up a bit, please? Because I don't have any radio. Yes. I like your car. Do you like my helmet? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think of the car? Amazing. Yeah, it's electric. Would you date a guy like me in a car like this? Maybe. Shall we go on a date? After a few laps of Kingston, I decided that it was time to get the Twizy cleaned, which revealed yet another benefit. My weekly shower would be included too. This car's a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna get this car washed. Luckily, the inside of the Twizy is waterproof. Really nice and clean now. Doing a good job, mate. Doing a really good job. Thank you very much for that. Oh, I shouldn't have bothered showering this morning. You can save on water. When you're getting your car cleaned at a place like this, you just sit inside, get your car cleaned, and then, you know, you can get your own face cleaned as well, and your body, this is perfect. The benefits are just, they're countless. The sky's the limit with this car. With my odour man now washed away, I headed home. At which point I received a message from my girlfriend telling me that I had to pick something up first. About 20 minutes ago, I got a message from my girlfriend saying, we need a tree for the garden. Uh, I haven't even turfed it yet, but she's adamant that she wants a tree. And I found something that I reckon would look really sweet. A Leylandii. I've got the Twizy, so it's gonna be quite interesting getting this into the Twizy and back home. Everything's doable. If proof were needed that the Twizy is a practical car, then this is it. I've got a tree, it's called Layla. Layla, Layla, it's called Layla, Layla the tree. Obviously with a car like this, you've got infinite amount of space. I mean, I don't have any windows, so you can literally just shove anything in there. And then you've got yourself limitless space. The world is literally my oyster. My girlfriend wanted a tree, she got a damn tree. Oh, now this is great because we've got width restrictions. Blah, 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 blah. See, don't need to worry about width restrictions. 
with the Twizy, and soon we've got to hit the motorway, which is gonna be interesting. 49 miles an hour, come on, 50. Come on, 51. Come on, give me two. Yes, we're at 52 miles an hour. Come on, give me one more. Come on, come on. Oh, 51, foot flat to the floor. Gonna go for the overtake. Come on, Lily, we got this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, behind me, you're gonna see Ethan. There is Ethan. Yes, go on. Oh no, Ethan's gonna overtake me again. Shall I go for the trick? No, no. Oh. It's actually fairly well buffeted on the motorway. It's not particularly intimidating. I'm sure it'd be a lot different if it was raining, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy here. Don't take it seriously. Don't think of it as, as an alternative to a car or a motorbike or a scooter. It's a toy for people who've got some money, who've probably got a driveway that they can plug it in at the end of the day. I get to drive a lot of cool stuff, but ah, very little makes me smile as much as this. Speed bike, it's fine. You don't really need to slow down. Jesus, nearly getting some air there. It's not fast. It's not really practical unless you think outside the box like me and Lily. But it is just so much fun. With a successful day of winning at life in the Twizy completed, I wondered how much easier I could make a day at the office. And guess what? That was awesome too, thanks to free parking and the fact that I didn't have to use my legs anymore to get lunch. All right, I think we are clear. Got a little bit of traffic. This is where it gets a bit tricky because I've got zero visibility. Obviously there's a big window. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the blades up so people see me coming. There's a Twizzy, there's another one. There's a mate in a Twizzy. He didn't even care. I'm gonna go up Leather Lane, we're in Farringdon. There's a place called Leather Lane where you get beautiful foods. You've got street markets. I should probably strap up, tis the law. Um, I think I'm in a bit of a pedestrianised area at the moment, but I have a feeling I might be able to slip through. No, you're not going to get in. I've got a good feeling. Excuse me. We are nearly there. I can see Paella Man. All right. Just a normal day, right? Are you queue jumping? I am. I am the queue. It's a bit like uh, McDonald's drive-through, yeah. except um, except a bit cooler. I don't think cars are allowed down here. But this is not a car, it's a quadricycle, it's electric, and it's good for the environment. There's not a lot more I can say, except I'm winning at life. People are using their legs. Using your legs looks painful. I don't want to be using my legs. I would like a box, please. I'm going to try not to uh, knock your stall over, because I like coming here. That would be wonderful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Keep going. How are your feet? Your feet good? Do you like the car? Yeah, it's really cool. There's a space in the back. You don't need to walk anymore. You just, excuse me, sir. How are your feet? I'm gonna have to try and squeeze my way through here. It's getting very busy. Obviously, people can't actually hear me coming. Starting to get frowns and not smiles anymore. Sorry. Sorry. Freedom! Yes! Now it's time to strap up and get my gains. Probably would have been a lot quicker walking, but I definitely wouldn't have looked as stylish. Beautiful, like an absolute glove. Gonna just squeeze it in on the left. Watch Ethan's feet. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, this is good. Yeah, how close can I get it to the table? <sighs> Pretty close. There's not really more that needs to be said about the Twizzy. It's fun, will save you shower money, can carry a tree and makes you sexy. And at around 7,000 pounds, that's cheaper than plastic surgery in the long run. I can't say goodbye to you yet.